Well, now across Africa, many lives are put in danger due to the proliferation of counterfeit drugs. One Ghanaian tech firm uh, might just be the long-awaited solution to the problem. Africa 54's Paul Ndiho visited the firm, and he joins us now to tell us more about it. Paul? Uh, thanks, uh, Vincent. Uh, the global counterfeit drug trader is a billion-dollar industry, and it's thriving in Africa, where markets are flooded with fake and poor drug quali quality drugs. Could a new Ghanaian mobile-based system known as M-Pedigree be a solution in the fight against counterfeit drugs? Well, I recently visited the tech farm in Ghana, and here is what I discovered. The World Health Organization estimates uh, that uh, more than 100,000 deaths a year in Africa are linked to the counterfeit drug trade, and that nearly 10% of the prescription drugs available in pharmacies and hospitals around the world are counterfeit. Well, uh, thanks uh, to Ghanaian uh, social entrepreneur Bright Simmons, uh, he has developed a cutting-edge uh, mobile phone-based uh, system known as Empedigree which enables uh, customers uh, to check uh, the authenticity and validity of their medication through instant messaging. Eugene Badu is head of corporate affairs and marketing at Impedigree. He says their application is empowering the general public against counterfeit products. We have a system, the app, that empowers the consumer at the point of consumption to authenticate or confirm whether the product that they have just bought and are about to consume uh, is genuine and is coming from the right producers, uh, has gone through the right checks and so on. Drugs are protected through an pedigree carry a shorter coder that is revealed through scratching a specific area of the packaging. Users send this unique ID via text messaging on their phones and they will immediately receive a message to verify the drug authenticity. With this new system of authenticating the safety and originality of drugs, you're sure what you're buying, so we don't have reported cases of people suffering because they took in counterfeit drugs. So I'm sure what I'm buying. Most exciting perhaps is that the system is now being used in more than six African countries and has been taken beyond Africa to India and other Asian countries. You just need a mobile device to be able to assess this kind of service. And that makes it easier if you look at the demographics and access to technology, uh, if you look at that kind of distribution in Africa and other third world, where there's limited access to technology and so on. Earlier this year, Pedigree entered into a partnership with GTP, makers of premium African prints, who are facing a huge challenge with counterfeiting. Stephen Kofi Badu is the company's marketing director. These shops are still selling our designs, but not with our labels. Mm -hmm. Somebody else has taken those designs and put their labels on them. Some have even gone further to put not just their label, they take our designs and put our own labels on it. So that makes it even more serious than it used to be. So we're losing market shares, we're losing money, we're losing um, margins. We are really struggling. Badu believes that a counterfeiting kills innovation industries and destroys the economy. We want to encourage um, consumers that always look out for the genuine thing. It might cost you slightly more but you are better off buying a genuine product. WHO says the lack of proper monitoring of imported drugs in many parts of Africa is allowing counterfeit criminals to cash in on a continent that is already battling as other serious issues such as disease and poverty. By the way, I should add that a Pharmaceutical Society of Ghana has adopted a Pedigree initiative through its new preventer program making Empedigree solution an industry-wide standard. In my next report, I will take you to Kumasi, Ghana, where a young entrepreneur and founder of Horseman Shoes is making his marker in the footwear manufacturing industry.